Artificial intelligence has been an inextricable part of human lives. Much like in popular fiction, our lives, one way or another, have been affected or constantly revised by artificial intelligence. For those of us who wear glasses because we couldn't keep what mama gave us, you are aware that the computerized test is entirely modulated by the AI manning the software. So squint those eyes and try to make out that hot air balloon, and let's start this incredible journey about AI. AI has always shown in a friendly light, but always someone beneath organics. Popular characters like Cortana from the highly acclaimed Halo franchise is your friendly AI voice living in your head that feeds you critical mission reports. C-3PO appearing in the mega successful Star Wars franchise is a friendly robot running entirely on a few programmed codes and lines. EDI, or Enhanced Defense Intelligence, from the critically acclaimed Mass Effect franchise by the Canadian developer BioWare, is another oh-so-friendly but self-aware AI designed to help you out on the quest to keep the galaxy safe. There are numerous other examples, but they all have a few things in common. Friendly, on the sidelines, designed to help humans. Hold on to that, because that is the crucial trait that all but guarantees the increased presence of AI in the coming decades. Not all depictions of AI have been so rosy. Terminator, the robot sent from the future to wipe out Sarah Connor, was one example of how technology can be turned against us. But arguably fair's fair, and when there is a super-powered robot on the loose for your blood, another AI stands up in defiance of it. So it's not all bad, right? Well, that is subjective. An AI at its core is bound by constraints in its programming. But what happens when you program a nugget of free will in all those dense lines? Well, if popular media is any indication, a self-aware AI might not want to wipe us out because they see us as friends. We may not know the truth about the sort of personality AIs are programmed with, but if we are sure of anything, it's that nobody wants a Terminator on the loose, so maybe we won't give them the laser eyes just yet. Tesla has had their fingers in a lot of pies, automobiles, electric energy, cryptocurrency, and now to add to their impressive portfolio, they were planning to build a supercomputer entirely in-house. As a wise sage once said, all technological innovations are a result of hindrances. Can't carry heavy loads? Build a wheel. Can't catch fish? Invent harpoons. Many medical advancements like the pacemaker are a result of human shortcomings. For Tesla, that shortcoming was faced in the development of self-driving cars. I'm no engineer, but what little I understand for such an idea to be a possibility, you would need a network of interlinked neurons, taking in a host of information from a number of sources and full control over hardware to make those subtle changes like shifting gears and oscillating the driving wheel a little to the left or right. Now, I may be butchering the explanation a bit, but you understand what such a challenge would ask of our current supercomputers. Tesla plans to create a supercomputer for a very specific purpose, a computer that's better at AI than any other. It doesn't necessarily mean faster computing time or a more powerful system. They're making their computer for one purpose, i.e. to help them in making self-driven cars a reality, a computer that can handle vast amounts of information and act accordingly. As of today, the project is in the development stages and is expected to be operational by 2022. Now, what does Tesla hope to do with such a powerhouse of a computer? The answer to that is, they plan to make it a standard. Of course, that comes with newer and more arduous challenges, but if Tesla is anything, it's resilient and innovative, but it is also adept at making dreams into a reality. More importantly, they're self-reliant. Back in early 2021, when the world faced a new wave of microchip shortages, they rewrote their own vehicle software to support alternative chips. The word dojo means martial arts school, which it's Japanese in origin and roots. It goes without surprise that the project is titled Project Dojo. How every quaint as far as naming go, but it's better than the titles I picked for my chapters because essentially the computer is meant to train AI. What's better than taking that analogy about training in the martial arts and turning it into an official business name? As of now, we're pretty much still in the dark about how the computer will function and what we can expect. So for now, the Fugaku supercomputer developed by Fujitsu and Japan's National Research Institute, Riken, holds the belt for the world's fastest supercomputer, although it is safe to say that Dojo is probably going to shake the leaderboard. Whether it's in fate's favor or not remains to be seen. 
One thing is for certain, competition like this in the technological area is always healthy and will lead to the betterment of humans as a species. It will be exciting to see how that affects our current industry and what tech giant comes up to the challenge of creating a competitor to Tesla's dojo.